Hey, it's Emily for Top Music. This is the place that you come to get creative and actionable teaching tips for your music studio. And today we're going to look at a wonderful system that you can use for your digital licensed sheet music. So if you have something like this that you've invested in that you want to have your students playing and taking home with them, you can use a system like this one is my very favorite. It's called the Swingline GBC. So today we're going to take a look and see how it all works and see if it might be a great solution for you. It's much more similar to a professional bound spiral. It's not exactly that, I'll show you the difference. But to me, it's a big upgrade compared to my old three ring binder system. I like this for a couple of reasons. It looks polished and keeps your music very nice. You're able to open and close these spine unlike the spiral kind, and it lays nice and flat for an easy page turn on the music stand. So a lot of things to like, let's see about this system. Okay, so this is made by Swingline and it's called the GBC ProClick 250. And this has 32 holes in here and a very a heavy die cut system. It's got a top mechanism that operates it back and forth. And underneath you've got a bay to collect the holes nice and clean. And if you fill up on that, a little trap door. Let's see how it works. Here's a nod to the composer that I got this tip from. Wendy Stevens recommends that you use a system like this. So thanks, Wendy, for showing me this years ago. Okay, today I've got a creativity Kickstarter. I use these chord progressions with all of my students, especially the teens. You can actually get this for free at the link above or below. And I'm going to show you how to quickly bind it so that you're not having that loose paper is floating everywhere or shoved in a bag. This machine can handle four holes at a time on regular paper. Let's give it a shot. I've got four. If you overload it, it will eat your paper. And then you've got chewed up edge. You've got to reprint everything. So I am pretty um, careful about sticking to four. Also, stick it in there all the way. Again, if you get it halfway in, your holes go wrong really quickly. And here we go. Okay, I barely made it with four. And let's see how it looked. Beautiful. Everything is just right. Now we're gonna add a spine. We're gonna buy these ones separate. It comes in two gauges. This is pretty narrow. This should hold about one or two printed books. And if you've got more and you wanna hold all years worth, then go up to a bigger gauge, but I more often buy the smaller one if you can find that. Okay, I'm gonna go with that one. When I printed this one, I went with a heavier cardstock on the cover of it. So I love that if you've got access to nicer paper and a printer that will go with it, I do like a cardstock weight. And on the back, I also recommend you put something heavy. A lot of times I'm just using simple cardstock, but today I've got a um, fancy paper stock. Go with my color theme of blue here. Okay, let's assemble it. And on the top, icing on the cake, this clear PVC paper report cover looks so nice on the top. Let's take a look. Beautiful. And it's gonna be a lot more durable that way. Now grab your spine. Maybe need a pencil if your holes aren't all cut exactly the same. Here we go. Okay, and to close it, there's a little device that comes from the manufacturer and it's got an opening, little opening tab. And this actually will close it also, but I find it really clunky. I'd rather just pinch it. So I'll show you that way. They will actually click. So it's called the Pro Click system. Now you know why. There's 32 holes. Okay, I recommend that you farm this part out to your students because you'll get tired of pinching these. And they seem to like it. I usually challenge them to erase how fast they can get them all closed. So it's great. Now I've got this beautiful chord progressions all ready to go. And it's got my cover. If I Here's the second part that I love and I use all the time. I'm going to use this to reopen it. Let's say I need to add another sheet in wherever you need to. If you're going to take out or add more to the back, use the pointed business end of this, run it. You put the pointed in underneath the spine, hold your paper down so you don't tear it. And I'm having trouble today. Okay, we got it. Now it opened it all up and then you can add in anything you want to and then close it back. So there you have it. You've got an easy sheet music binding system and 
it's by swing line you can buy this one on amazon it's a big investment so word of warning about the price but i've, I've actually bought two because they're so useful and i can't do without it Hope you found that teaching tip useful. If you want to get sheet music every month for your studio, you can find them in Top Music Pro, like this whole book. And there's a new one every 30 days. So join at the light level, $10 a month or higher, and you can grab sheet music for your students. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel so you can get new teaching tips. We release them every week.